Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I am joined by my wonderful mum. She's been on the channel a couple of times already. You might have seen her videos. Mum's had about a six month break from Pilates. She's been traveling with dad. And so now she's getting back into the swing of things. And I'm gonna take her through a nice, gentle, kind of reconnecting into Pilates and reconnecting into the body kind of session today. So I'm looking forward to it. Yes, should be good. So we've got one red spring on. Mum mm -hmm. sitting on the long box, and I'm going to give her the kind of the plastic part or the knotted parts of the rope, so a little bit higher up. Mm -hmm. Let me grab up near my hand here. Yeah. And she's sitting closer towards the edge of the box. Her feet are fam uh, firmly planted on the headrest. I want you to inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. Nice. As you exhale, draw your belly button to your spine. You're going to start to roll off your sit bones. You're going to roll all the way back. And if it feels comfortable, you're gonna roll all the way back. Keep drawing your belly button down. And then even, yes, start to relax the head over the box. Find that little bit of extension. Inhale down here. As you exhale, mum, start to nod your chin to your chest. You're gonna roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Breathe, stacking up nice and tall. Really nice. And then repeat this one. Go again. Inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, draw your belly up to your spine. Start to roll off your sit bones. Nice. Gaze this forward. Really beautiful. Inhale down here. And then exhale, let your chin to your chest. Curling yourself all the way back up. I should let you know, mum's been doing Pilates for about 16 years. Excellent, yeah. Yeah. And inhale, take a deep belly breath. And then exhale, draw your belly bones to your spine, rolling yourself down. So this is really just waking up through the spine, waking up through the abdominals, finding that little bit of extension through the back, opening up through the front of the chest. Nod your chin to your chest as you exhale and then go all the way back up. Really nice, Mum. On the next one, I just want you to come down halfway and hold it down halfway. Exhale, draw your belly bones to your spine. Nice, just rolling back halfway, holding it here. Can you lift up two inches and then lower back two inches? So it's like a little pulse through the abdominals, exhaling and then inhaling. Your feet are firmly planted still, this looks good. And then little pulses. Go for six. Exhale, lift up five. And for four, if you ever feel this through your lower back, just stop with the pulses and just continue with your roll-ups again. Go for two more. And last one, go all the way back up. Really nice one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab this loop. I'm gonna place a long loop onto your shoulder pin. With your left hand, I want you to grab hold of the plastic part of the rope. Nice. Your right hand's coming behind your head and just draw your left shoulder back so you're starting with a nice square position. Yeah. Press your head into your hand, gaze this forward. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, I just want you to pull your left arm back. Good. And then inhale to release. Nice. Exhale, pulling the left arm back. And then inhaling to release. So you're just gliding your left elbow in close by your waist and then releasing the arm. Good. Square your knees up just a fraction. Yeah. Really good belly buttons drawing to your spine. Nice mum. Go for three more like this. Keep pressing your right, your head into your hand. For two. One more like this. Good. As you exhale, start to rotate towards your left. So you're exhaling, rotating. Good. And then inhaling to release. Really nice. So you're trying to wrap your rib cage on your pelvis so your pelvis is nice and still hips don't move it's just the upper body that's twisting and rotating to the left so your aim is to get both shoulders to wrap around to face the windows exhaling and then inhaling good it should feel nice on your back like a bit of thoracic rotation good go for five exhale rotate around for four this looks really good Three, the last two of us are going to help. Sometimes it feels nice. Two, and one more like this. Yes. 
good. I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna swap over to the other side. So with your right hand, yep, grab hold of up high. Nice. You're sitting up tall, left hands behind the head. Really good. Feet are nice and heavy. Mm -hmm. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, draw your right elbow back. But you're gonna keep, yeah, your gaze forward. We're just gonna do a few without the rotation. Nice. So if you keep pressing your head into your hand, you might feel like you're more open through the front of the chest. Mm -hmm. Then you're into your towards your spine and allow that elbow to glide past your rib. Yeah, good. We'll do four. Exhale, three. Two. One more like this one. Nice. When you're ready, you're going to rotate towards the mirror this time. So exhale, start to pull into your strap and rotate around. Inhale to release. It's almost like you're imagining you're going up a, a windy staircase. Mm -hmm. So it's like your shoulders rotate around first, then the midsection, and then kind of the lower abdominals. You want to make sure that the wrist is nice and straight the whole time too. And you've got the advantage of the mirror so you can check that when you rotate. So keep that nice strong good and when you come back to your center just watch your right shoulder you don't want to be looking like you're getting pulled by a dog on the leash you want to keep that shoulder back yes that's better nice do five like this nice keep pressing your head into your hand for four nice one exhale rotate three good two one more like this well done I'm going to take this strap and I want you to carefully lower yourself down so that you're lying onto the box. You can grab at that base of the box if you want to. Yeah, you can move it forward. Mm -hmm. And that helps lower back and down. Nice. Just interlace your fingertips together so you can support your head. Mm -hmm. Good. You're going to exhale, curl yourself up into a chest lift position. Good. Holding that chest lift. Can you put your left leg in tabletop? Nice. Inhale, yep, exhale, put the right leg. Perfect. So we're just gonna focus on chest lifts. So keeping your legs nice and still. Inhale, open over that ball, just relax down through the upper body. And then as you exhale, keeping your neutral spine, you're gonna curl yourself up, yep. And then inhale, looking over, exhaling. Good, nice. So each time that you curl up into your chest lift position, you want to think about drawing your lowest ribs down to meet your hip bones. Good. So you're getting that abdominal connection. And it's almost like your head's really heavy in your hands. It's almost like you're holding a bowling ball by the end of it. Your arms should feel like they're getting a bit of a workout. Exhale. Nice. And you'll be able to notice that mum's got a really nice gap between her chin and her chest. She's not pulling on her neck. Good. Go for five. Exhale, lift up four. Here we go. Three more. Good. Two. Last one here. Good one. You're going to curl yourself up again. I want you to hold that chest lift. Just a little toe tap with your right leg. So you're going to inhale, send the right leg away from you. And then exhale, we'll do that one again. We'll just toe tap, so keep the arc in the leg. Inhale, and then exhale, there we go. And then you can alternate. So you can always make the movement as big as you want, but the bigger that you make the movement, the more intense it's gonna be through the lower abdominals. So if you ever feel like you need to modify it, make it a little bit easier to make that movement smaller. So you can send it 20 centimeters away from your body. Really nice, curling up that little bit high. Inhale as you arc away, exhale as you draw back. Good. Inhaling and then exhaling. Can you do six more? Inhale. Good. Four to go. Really nice one. Last. Last one. Good. Lower everything down. You can just get a little stretch and release. If you want to reach your arms out long, you can. Sometimes that feels really nice just to open up through the front of the body. And then you can slowly come up and out of there. Huh? And I'm going to get you off the box and we're going to start to work your glutes. So, 
and we're changing over to one blue spring here and what you're going to do is a bit of a funny one to get into but if you want to stand around at the back I'm going to press the box away and you're going to stand into the well. Nice. With your right leg you can then bend it so that it's out of the reformer and I'm going to slowly start to give you the weight of the box. Mm -hmm. Nice mum. So it's a bit of, it's a lot of balance, it's a lot of stability and it's going to be working your left glute. So from here, I just want you to find the weight of the box. Mm -hmm. With your left leg, you're going to press it out so that it's away from your right. Sorry, your, your right knee. Yeah, you're going to press away from your left leg. So hold on to this. You can if you want to, if you want a little bit of balance. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the aim is to eventually have the arms off. Okay. So we're going to keep the box still and I just want you to hold it away from your left leg. Holding mm -hmm. it here. So if you're in this position, you're drawing your belly button to your spine, you're lifting up nice and tall through the crown of your head. Mm -hmm. Good. From here, you can start to add in some arms. So as you exhale, you float your hands in line with your shoulders. And then inhale, lower your arms down by your side. Really nice. Exhaling, lifting up. Inhaling to lower. Good, mum. You're starting to feel that left glute working? Yeah. Yeah. It starts to warm up. It looks like an easy exercise, but it's a lot of work. Good, mum. Go for three more with the arms like this. Exhale, lift up two. This looks good. On the next one, you're going to keep your arms reaching out long. We're going to add in the leg and the arm opens. So as you exhale, press that box away. Maybe you start with a little movement mm -hmm. just to get that balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Close the arms, close the leg. Exhale. And then inhale. Good. Nice. If you ever want to make the movement more challenging, you can hop away from the spring, so away from the foot bar, it makes it harder. And if you ever want to make it a little easier, you go closer towards the foot bar. How's that left glute feeling? I can feel it. You can yeah. feel it, yeah. Can you do six more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five to go. Exhale, four. Three, really nice. Two. The last one here. I've got the box, you can come out of there. Good news is one side's down. Mm -hmm. I've got the other side to go. around? Yeah, I can walk around this side back. <coughs> and then step right in. You're gonna pick your left leg up. Yeah, I'm going to give you the weight of the box mm -hmm. and then this one's good because you've got the advantage of the mirror so you mm -hmm. can see yourself mm -hmm. and you're going to make sure that your left knee is in line with your left hip so you've got a little gap between the both, mm -hmm. both of your knees. Okay. Arms are down by your side. When you're ready and you feel like you've got the stability, mm -hmm. you're going to exhale, start to float the hands in line with your shoulders and then inhale to lower down. Nice. Exhaling and then inhaling. So you want to think about drawing the crown of your head up to the ceiling, shoulders are down, you're finding width across the chest, belly button's drawing to your spine, and you're stabilizing through the right leg. So the ankle's working, your calf's working, your glute's working, a lot of core work here, a lot of pelvic stability. Nice. Go for four more. Exhale as you lift the arms for three, two, last one, keep the arms reaching up. You're now going to exhale, open the left leg, open the arms, inhale, close, exhale, and then inhale, really nice. You can always add in hand weights here too, so you can have one kilo weights. I find that two kilos sometimes puts a bit of a strain on the neck, but see how you go. If you want more of a challenge. Go the harder way, if you want less, you can go a little bit lighter. Nice one. How's the right foot feeling? Feel it, yeah. You can feel it. <coughs> Good. Exhale. And then inhale. Good. Can you go for six more? And open for five. This looks good. 
take your time for four, nice and slow and controlled. Final three. You got it. Two. One more like this. That's my look for the box. You can step out of there. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, and you're working your areas here. Yeah. So because we've worked out, we want to work underneath of your butt too. Mm -hmm. So that's the next exercise we're going to do. You're going to change this box into a short box this time. And I'm going to add on a red spring. So you've got one red and one blue spring. And you want to come into a kneeling position. So your forearms are coming onto the box, similar to mm -hmm. how you get ready for a plank. So forearms onto the box, knees are on the carriage. And then with your right heel, I want you to place the heel onto the foot bar. Nice. So your left knee can be butted up right against the box if you want to. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes that gives you a little bit more feedback. And you want your hips to be nice and square. So arms lifting up and out of our shoulders. So a way to do that is to feel like you're pulling the box apart with both arms. And keeping the hips nice and still, inhale, take a deep belly breath. As you exhale, press into your right heel, extend the right leg long. You're gonna press away from the foot bar. Yes. Inhale, bend the right knee, draw the carriage in. Just before it comes all the way in, you're gonna exhale, press away again. Really nice. And then inhaling to bend. Exhale, pressing away, finding that length through your right leg. So you wanna make sure or imagine that you've got headlights on both hip bones and your hip bones are tracking down to facing towards the box. You don't want one headlight out to the right or one headlight out to the left. Good. So controlling that on the way out and on the way back in, that looks really good. Working that leg, you might start to feel maybe a little bit of hamstring, but mainly glue. And then maybe a little bit of quad too, but with the heel on, it should be mainly glue. Let's go for six more. Keep lifting up and out of the shoulders for five. Nice, gazes down towards the headrest for four. This looks great. Final three. Exhale, two. One more here, you're gonna come down halfway. Little tiny pulses up and down here. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven. This looks good for six, five, four, Three more, one, two. Last one here, press that all the way. Good, and then bend your right knee, draw the carriage in. You're gonna swap to the other side. How'd that feel for your glute? It feels really good, actually. Yeah, it feels nice. It really starts to switch it on. So the left heel onto the foot bar, this looks good. And you also wanna make sure the heel's in line with your hip. You don't want it tracking out or too far in. And actually bring up the left leg over a fraction, yeah. Lift up and out of your shoulders. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. And then as you exhale, press out through the legs, your lengthen. And then inhale to bend. Good. Exhale. And then inhale. Really nice one. It's actually working a bit of obliques too, because you've got to work to stabilize to keep the body nice and centered. Exhale, pressing out. And then inhale. But there's not too much load. For the shoulders and up in front of you. Look, you're right. Mm -hmm. Adjusting. Good. Exhale. And then inhale.
How'd that feel? <coughs> yeah, really well, thanks. Good. We're gonna come into a plank. Well, you're gonna come into a plank. We're gonna take off the blue spring, so you've got a red spring on. A red spring is a little, it's more supportive, it's a full spring. But if you'd like more of a core challenging workout or core challenging plank, have one blue spring on. So, you're gonna come down onto your forearms. Toes are on the platform. Start to lift the knees off of the carriage and then extend the legs out long. Good, we're gonna hold a 30 second plank here. So you're gonna lift up and out of your shoulders, belly buttons drawing to your spine. This looks good. Gaze is down towards the headrest. Legs are nice and long. And you wanna focus on your breath. So you're inhaling through the nose, oxygenate, oxygenate the body. And then you're exhaling through the mouth. Really nice one. You got it. We've got 10 more seconds here. Good, focusing on that breathing. This looks really good. You've got three seconds, two, one. Bend the knees, draw the carriage all the way in. Have a little breather. How did that spring feel? Yeah, it was good. It was all right. Would you like to try a blue spring? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See how we go. See how you go. And. So the blue spring's a half spring, it's going to make it a little bit more challenging on the core. So we'll do another 30 second plank, we'll see how that goes. Okay. When you're ready, lifting the knees up, extending the legs out long. Good, so the hips are nice and lifted, belly button's drawing to your spine, this looks great mum. Nice. How's the blue spring? Yeah, it's cool. Feels okay? Yeah, it feels fine. Yeah? So far. <laughs> You have got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Draw the carriage all the way in. Nice. Would you like to add in any elbow slides? That's yes. when you come into the plank and you slide it forward and back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We try ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how you go on the blue spring? Yeah. Yeah. But if not, I can change to a red. So you're going to come back into that plank position and then from here, slide the elbows forward as far as you can. Yeah, you'll start to feel a slight shake through the abdominals and then draw them back in line with your shoulders. So the legs stay nice and still, they don't move at all. They're just going to stay here, it's just the arms. Can you feel that through your upper abdominals? Yeah. Good, mama. Nice. Just do as many as you can. If you ever feel like it's too much, come down. Good. Use your breath. Nice. You've done well. <laughs> Six months not doing Pilates. That's right. Yeah, you're doing really well. I can feel it. Yeah, you feel it through the upper abdominals. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about we get you into some feet and straps? Okay, the nice right. way to open up mm -hmm. through the hips. So I'll take the box off after you've come off. And I'll place it off to the side here. We're going to add on that red spring again. So you've got a red and a blue. And you're going to lie into your back. I'll lift up the headrest. Sometimes that's nice on the head. But if yes. it doesn't feel great, let me know oh, that I can let it down. Then mm -hmm. lying all the way down onto your back. You've got a red and a blue spring. Press out onto the foot bar. And place your yeah, left foot into this loop. Press into your left foot. And you've got your right foot in this strap. Nice. So let's just come into some lift and lower. So you're going to float the legs up to the ceiling as far as you can without letting the pelvis tilt and then reach them away from you as far as you can without letting your pelvis tilt the other way. Nice. Exhaling, reaching away. And then inhale, floating the legs up. So finding that length through the back of the legs. It's a little bit of core. You can just feel the core assisting to lift the legs up. But you've got the assistance of the straps too. So I'm just standing behind mum so I can see her pelvis. See if it's moving from side to side or back and forth. She's doing a pretty good job of keeping it nice and still. You want to keep neutral spine as well. Inhale as you go. Exhale as you press out. Let's do a few more like this. Keep that movement. And for two. Yeah. And then go for one more. 
Just so you're not going as low, so you're not mm -hmm. extending into the lower back. On the next one, when you've got your legs up to the ceiling, we're going to come into some circles. So open your legs out just as wide as the foot bar to start with, and then circle the legs down and around, connect your heels together, and then float them back up to the ceiling. Nice. Open out, circle down and around. Good. Connecting your feet back together. Really nice. So just allowing the legs to roll around within the hip socket. Tailbone's anchored. Pelvis is nice and still. It's almost like you're reaching up and out of the hips, so you're sending the legs out. Good. It helps to lubricate through the joint as well when you do these sort of exercises. Oh, nice and noisy. That's great. Let's go for three more in this direction. Two. down through the backs of the legs, open out. If you know that your pelvis is nice and still, you can start to make your circles a little bit bigger. Just enjoy a bit of a deeper stretch, but if you want to have it more controlled to feel the core a bit more, contain your circles, keep them small. Nice. Go out slow. And there, yeah, and then open out. Just until the point that you feel that your pelvis is tilting, that's when you start to bring the legs back up. Do you feel that point? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice one. Do four more circles. And three. Good, enjoying that stretch for two. Mm -hmm. I know, it's so nice. One more here. Good. Connect your feet together, come down to 45 degrees. Heels are together, separate your toes. Come into your froggy, so you're gonna bend both knees. And then exhale, extend, squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen through the legs. Good. Squeeze, heels are connected. Froggies are really nice in the hips too. You feel the inner thighs, a slight inner thigh connection. This looks great. Go for the five. Inhale, bend, exhale, extending out for four. Three. Two. Last one here, stretch the legs out nice and long, come to parallel with your feet and float the legs up to the ceiling, keep the bottom heavy and just flex your feet back, you can grab hold of two of rows, it's more of a hamstring stretch this one and I want you to drive your heels to my hands, yeah, or just like kind of jump in the hole on this one, yeah, because then that way you can pull the ropes back to you, I know you keep your head down, you just get a new stretch, do you feel it through the back of your legs, mm -hmm. and fold it, it's almost like you're standing your heels up to the ceiling. And if it feels good, Mum, open the legs out wide. Let's get a bit of an inner thigh stretch and release. And then another thing I like to do to keep the legs out wide, you can add in a little rock from side to side. It just feels nice on your mm -hmm. sacrum. Yeah, on the back. That is nice. Yeah. Well, you've done well. You've worked hard today. First session back. It feels good to be back. Yeah. It's amazing what Pilates does. Mm -hmm. And you can draw the legs back together. Take your feet out of the loops. Um, yep, right foot. You can find the foot back. Then left foot. And it looks also nice for the spine just to finish up the thighs. If you place your feet wide on the foot bar. Yep, grab hold of your shoulder rest behind you. And then drop your knees over to the right, but look towards your left. It's a really nice spinal twist. And then swap over to the other side. Get that stretch and release. I think of that. I know, it's so nice. Do about four more in total. And then come back to centre and then swap over. Get that nice stretch and release. Good one. Do one more either side. Get that release through the spine. And last one. Good. You're all finished for today. Well, thank you, Grace. Thank you so much for joining Mum and I on our first Pilates class back in six months. You did really well. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, guys. Bye. See you.